Subaru, Wausau, Wisconsin, looking to see what they have on the lot. Uh, most of the car lots are overfilled with uh, large SUVs. And there's some, uh, a few of the larger SUVs. Now they uh, name those, they're uh, out of blank. Um, nice selection of Outbacks. Uh, I wanna see what year some of these are. Leather. 2025. So we do have some 2025s on the ground. 25 miles a gallon. 45 grand. 45 grand for Subaru. You definitely tells you. Ah, it's Touring XT. So nice this model. But uh, definitely tells you what the uh, prices are doing. This is what everybody's looking for. Uh, wilderness. Oh, 45 grand for wilderness. Yeah, nothing's free anymore. <laughs> Or ever was just uh, a lot crazier now. Oh, um, WRX. These are a little more uh, calm. 22 miles to the gallon. Isn't that funny? 22 miles to the gallon, that little thing. Uh, 32,000 on sale, 33,900 in the window. And I got another WRX. Another WRX. So, decent amount of uh, WRX is a small car, but it's not exactly the. Uh, value leader for Subaru. I mean, a fun car, but... Well, 34 on this one, 32. I don't know, born to shift. The new uh, Forester. Looks like they have a whole line of the new Forester. This is the 2025 model. 36,000. Big sunroof like Forester has. I don't know if that's leather that fake leather seats it's got the gold rim yeah the road goes way way down no sale tags the uh wilderness didn't change body styles for 2025 so you can get a wilderness in the uh basically it's a 2024 body style but it's a 2025 model now oh, let's look which one this is apparently the trim changes next year, or the body style for the uh, wilderness. And I'm drawing a blank, $300,000. Oh, this is a 2024, but apparently the 2025 is gonna look the same as the 2024, but just in the wilderness trim. You would think the Foresters would be a little harder to come by. It's not a real high priced. Yeah, look at that, 32,000. That's pretty reasonable. I mean, this is more of a base model. 29 miles to the gallon. So can't wait for a, and this is a 2025, can't wait for a hybrid in the Forester. Yeah, no uh, trim tags. 32,000 for Forester though, that's not bad um, compared to other cars. Cause I mean, it's decent size, you sit up, it's one of the best viewing spots. You've got a lot of glass. You can see where you're going. And it's uh, all-wheel drive. I mean, it's a decent all-wheel drive. That's symmetrical all-wheel drive. Beats a lot of other systems because it is always, it's always turning. Uh, basically, everybody else's system uh, senses when the car slips. You know how those sensors work. It doesn't sense until it's already slipped. And then it kicks in. So basically, it's... Uh, starts turning after you're sliding where the Subarus, the Subarus really grip. This one has a wilderness in the blue, 26 miles a gallon, oh, 39,000. I was off by 10,000 on that price. Uh, it's almost 40, another 2024 20, though. All right, let's see if there's any deals here. Crosstrek, this has really gained popularity, but because of the price point more than anything. If you're looking at 35 for Crosstrek with some options, it's got the uh, the smooth seats, so must be that uh, I don't VTEC or whatever they want to call it, pleather. But in the Subarus, you don't have to wonder if they're all-wheel drive because they all are. Wow, there is that, oh, that little sports car. I'm gonna call it BZRX, but I don't know if that's the Toyota name. It's the one they share with Toyota. 
They don't have the, uh, looking for more of a base cross track to compare prices. Yeah, 30,000. Yeah, that's pretty much a base. I thought they had a little more lower of a bottom line than put the in one. Although we do see that the uh, cheaper ones are what sells, 31,000. So if they have a uh, base one. So I mean, you know that the uh, options is where they make their money. So the more options they put on a car, more money they make, 36,000. So if, uh, if you're buying just a base, base model with no trim, then there's just not as much uh, profit to be made in it. And they, 33,000, they feel like that if you're gonna come in and, and buy something, that you're gonna buy something. So they're not as worried about um, the options. They option them out because they feel that somebody's gonna see it and fall in love with it and take it home. 36,000, I mean 36,000, this is like their base model little mini SUV. All right, so Subaru has nothing for cars, for smaller cars. Oh, it looks like up by the building. Let's walk up by the building. So it looks like a Legacy and maybe a, a electric over in the front. It's all uh, used in these middle rows. That uh, looks like service over on that side. Now these, I mean, these are small. What is this? I want to say Impreza. Yeah, Impreza. So a little hatchback. Not bad for a little hatchback for a wheel drive. But 29,000, you're pretty much at a cross track price. You don't have anywhere near the ground clearance. And I don't think, I, it seems like the inside space is less. This is the Legacy. I always like the Legacy, but the, uh, the price point just does, does, doesn't justify it. So for the price of a legacy, I mean, you can pretty much get an Outback. So I would always go for the uh, Outback just because you can get more in there. I mean, as far as everyday driver, yeah, I definitely would go for a legacy, but uh, for Holland stuff, what's the point when you can get like an Outback for the same price and you can uh, throw stuff in the back, an extra little hatch. All right. All electric, 46.9. This is something that definitely do not buy new. I have seen these used for a lot less. Solterra, Solterra Touring. So this is a nice trim. Uh, 55.5 on the sticker. 40, 46.9. So they're, they're looking at just about 10 grand off. Uh, what year? This is a 2024. I mean, it's nice. But there's people that are dumping these for super cheap as used. So definitely go for used. All right, that's what we have for Subaru. Not a deal on the lot, basically.